previously on episode one China, but just like be honest and tell us if you had ever had like a heart problem or what and i was like no i've i've never not that i know of i i've never at that moment guys i didn't think of anything like maybe i might have anxiety or i was stressed by something or what but for sure i've never had an, a, a heart attack so i like, no, i don't know i don't, I don't know nothing they're like okay you know what just come back next week so that we can I didn't know how they will let me go to China or not. Well, I was stressed. And so I was left with anxiety or my heart. There's something wrong with my heart. And me coming to China was no longer excitement. It wasn't because I was like, I might not go because of the hard thing so my expectation of me coming to China was lessened like it was from here from here it went to chances of me coming here to China but by God's grace by Jesus Christ I finally made it and I was so excited when I came here but reality kicked in when they said they actually like just gave us like um a day just like to get over um a jet lag and then the following day we went to the doctor to go and do all the medicals again and mind you if you fail that medical you don't get a visa and if you don't get a visa you need to go back home so i was stressed again i was like okay now I managed to come here to China. I'm thinking as young London. <laughs> like, oh, okay, it's a fine. We'll do it again. So we did everything again. I did that ECG again, and I was so terrified. I think I actually even delayed the process. Like, I did the eyes, I did the ears, I did um, the urine. Um, I took the blood test, like I did everything and the way I was so anxious in my corner to do the ECG, I even like, that was my last test that I did. So, finally, I, obviously, like I cannot like skip it. I went there, they did it and that's it. And then few days later, we got the results. And then they were like, um, before we even got the result, they reached us and they were like, um, you all passed, not all, they were like, um, there are 13 students who passed the test, but only two didn't. And at the back of my mind, I knew Hori. Yeah. Whew, why am I being emotional? Oh my God. <laughs> the back of my mind, I knew her. In that too, I'm the who understand. So, yeah, um, it was very stressful. Um, experience they told us it's it's the other guy i won't mention names but it is other guy and myself you understand and it didn't come as a surprise i was expecting it and i'm like you know what god if if you just allowed me to come here and then for me to go home it's fine because like as you won't get e e e visa when you have failed the medical so 
I was like, you know what? If like it is meant to be horing mizila in China, then so be it. If like guys, I don't know. Like I was, I was so emotional, and I was like, God, you know what? If you just allowed me to come here in China, just experience how life it is in 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 those few days, and for me to go back home, then it's fine. Like it is fine. But as for me, like I came here to study, and I cannot go back home. Understand? So yeah, it was so. It was so emotional for me. Um, I remember we went to get our results, and everyone got their visas, and I didn't. And I'm like, okay, which means I'm going home. <laughs> which means I'm going home. So they kept on calling people, getting their visas and also love one and you don't and i was like god you should have like let me stay as a Africa then me coming here and then i have to go home like bro god you need to do some miracles <laughs> like you need to do some miracles so <clears throat> they were like okay those who failed um the test they will repeat them tomorrow and yeah that's what they told us so i told my mother then mother i failed the miracles and i might come back home and my mother encouraged me wow why am i emotional <laughs> I'm so traumatic. <laughs> so my mother like encouraged me and I was okay and I prayed about it and I was like God if if it is meant to be it's fine. If I have to go back home it's fine. Let your will be done. Like I don't have any control over my my heart, you understand? Because I knew her my heart Years on Pisces, and my heart years on Pisces. So the following day came. We went back to the um, to the hospital. When we got there, um, that doctor um, checked uh, in his computer, and they were like, um, "Go and do the blood test again." Okay. Sorry? What? Blood test? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, okay. Interesting. Now, I was, I was shocked because of what I thought might be the problem. It's not the problem anymore. I'm like, okay, now, okay, now, okay, sharp. Now what's going on? I understand and like I couldn't I couldn't understand for that hour or for that 30 minutes that I was there I couldn't understand okay like I knew when I went to the hospital for my heart Kiona that has a problem but when they tell me for go and do the blood test again I'm like mm -hmm. for in <laughs> I know I'm like, okay, God, now what's wrong with my blood? You understand? I'm like, okay, it's fine, I'll do it. I went there. They took blood again. And the way, guys, I was so stressing a corner, the fear of needle didn't matter anymore. I was like, just take the blood and test it again. You understand? They took the blood, they tested. They told us, like, to wait, like, for like 30 minutes for the results to come back and they finally came everything was okay and I got the paper um, so that I can apply for my visa so that's it that was it 
So guys, um, the journey of me coming here, it was, it was a lot. It 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 drained me, but at the same time, like I'm grateful. I think, Hore, if things were not that difficult for me to come here, and for me to face those challenge, I think I would taken this opportunity too lightly. Like I'm so grateful for being here, and I'm just I'm just grateful, Hore. You know. If something is it's it's yours, it's yours born. If something is yours, it's yours. And if it's not yours, let it pass. Something greater is coming your way. So my advice, Kohore, be patient. Um life don't like come up the way we expected. Um I'm here and I'm still like having that thing or when I go back I need to go and check what's wrong with my heart but anyway it's fine I'm surviving and I'm just enjoying um in China and I'm so grateful like what as I've said or whatever that I went through it made me to enjoy each and every day and every hour and every minute that I spent here in China because it was like a privilege for me so guys if something it is meant for you surely it is gonna even if satan and try to destroy whatever that is meant for you he won't succeed he won't succeed if it is yours it's it's yours if, if that job it is yours it is yours if if that position it's yours then it is you understand like like god has his own way to just make things work together for you to understand so yeah i mean that's how it happened and i'm so grateful yeah guys so um that's my story i think <laughs> we have come to the end of this video guys please if you have watched this video till this far guys you might as well just subscribe subscribe <laughs> and please guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also visit my description box i have more videos for you that you can watch so guys as for me peace i love you bye